Okay, guys, so here's the next one. This is over the intermediate. Um, and the thing that you gotta have to understand with the screwdriver for the intermediate is I recommend that you have two, one in each hand. By having one in each hand, you are literally increasing your ability to defend and attack exponentially. So, one is good, two is a lot better. And so, here's where we're going to go start with your knee and stuff. Um, understand, first off, the, the way that you're going to be able to uh, deal with your screwdrivers is because of the design of the way that they are, you have literally <laughs> laser precision with these where with some weapons you do not because all the weight is in the handle. I mean, the, the tip of the screwdriver doesn't weigh anything. So, because of the weight difference, you will have a lot more precision, okay? So, with that being said, let's get to it. All right, the first thing I'm gonna teach you is called, this is a pattern from Kali, um, Kali, Eskrima, all that. Um, and it's a pattern called the Heaven Six. And basically, what you're gonna want to get used to with this pattern with is what it is is it's basically a clearing motion or it's a, a way of backing your opponents away from you so that you can prepare for your next attack. So you're going to start from a chambered position like this. The left hand is parked under here. The right hand's right here. Okay. The first strike is to the temple from here. One. This one's coming up to hit the head again. That's two. This one's coming back. That one's flicking out to the top of the head. Three. Parking. Four. Five. Six. Parking. Okay? So when you... So let's go over that a few more times. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Okay? Parking. One, two, three, four, five, six. Parking. One, two, three, four, five, six. Parking. Okay? Now when you speed that up, you can really get to going. Okay? So this is the start of that, okay? Now, something else that you can do with this is over time, as you get better with it, you don't have to park it as much, and then you can just kind of start flowing from here, okay? This is a little bit more advanced, so we're going to kind of let that go as it is, but as you practice this, you can do that last motion. Okay, so once again though, one, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, see how that works? Now, we can work with your footwork, and as you're coming here from the right hand side, you step to the right. So, step to the right, one, two, three. Okay, step back with the right, step forward with the left. One, two, three. Step back with the left. Step forward with the right. One, two, three. Step back with the right. Step forward with the left. One, two, three. Okay. That'll help you with your footwork here. All right. So why am I teaching the the, the heaven six? The first, the reason why I'm doing that is so that your hands and your mind gets used to the having one hand here, but the other one right behind it. So that your mind and your hands get used to working in concert with each other so that now you're not trying to lock yourself up, okay? So you have to have your hands work independently and get together at the same time. And that takes training. So the easiest way to train that is with a drill like this. Just to train your hands to work separately and get together, okay? Another reason why I'm teaching you the heaven six. Let's say I, I 
multiple weapons now. Okay, so let's say I'm here, okay? Right here, this right here is a very good, strong defensive position for my head. Here's why. I can drop right into this hole here. Anything that's going to come to my head, it's not going to... The only danger that I have is anything in here, okay? So literally, while I'm being attacked, I can just drop under here. When the attack subsides, or when I feel it hit the shoulder, or the elbow here, boom, one, okay? Then I can go under, okay? So, that's something else that you can think about the versatility of the heavens. Okay? Now there's a whole bunch of other things that you can add into there, from there. Um, for those types of things, it's so much easier for you to go watch Vampire's videos on the Heaven 6 and, and the way he modifies and adds things to it. But, the very basics of it is, get used to the Heaven 6. Now, while we're on the Heaven 6, I'm going to add something else for you for the next drill for you. Is one, instead of coming up top here, come from the bottom. This is your sneaky shot. Anything that happens from below, your opponents generally don't see it because they're focused up here. They are not focused down here. Okay? So, one, two, right up from the bottom. Okay. Three, you'll see that one. Four, you'll see that one. And then there's the sneaky shot again from the bottom. From the bottom. Finish it off with the six. Okay. So, once again, stepping forward. One, two, bottom. Three, he saw that. Four, he saw that. Five, he didn't see that. Six, he saw that. Okay. So there's always going to be two there that you can always switch in there. Something else with the Heaven 6, just as a, a general thing, is as you're doing it, a lot of the time any, any uh, substitutions or switching or changes like that, a lot of the time in the Heaven 6 you'll find that that is done around the second technique. Usually the first strike is here and then you'll change with the second one. Okay. So even from this position, this one's the same, this one will change. It could, could go from the bottom, it could go from the top, you know, it could just be a quick slash out here, it could be a follow up here, you know, there's so many things that you can do from the second technique, okay? So, but once again, getting a little bit off topic there. Okay, so the next one is we're going to go over the basic nine attacks, okay, once again. Alright, so now that we've got two, there is a better chance of defending ourselves. Okay, so the first one <coughs> is first strike, strike to the temple, diagonal attack, okay? The reason why I'm going over those two strikes first is most people when they have a weapon, what's the first attack that they're going to do? It's going to be one of these. They're going to be doing these crisscrossing attacks like this, okay? It's basic human nature. So, that's why the first attack that you'll learn to defend out of this is against that attack, okay? So, anyway, what you're going to do is you're going to bring your left hand, or whichever hand is closest to the attacking hand, okay? So, I'm assuming my opponent's attacking like this. Okay, so I'm going to raise my left to block that, and at the same time, now I'm going to step forward with my right foot, okay, because I have blocked and checked this hand, okay, with the weapon here. I'm going to step forward. Now then, I'm going to either strike to the neck, I'm going to strike to the collarbone, okay, either one. I can strike to the neck, I can strike to the collarbone, I can strike to the offending arm here, and then come across. All right. Either way, no matter what I, no matter what happens, by me simply blocking and stepping forward, I can strike, 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 strike. Okay, stab. All right. Simply by blocking and stepping forward, I've already won the com that confrontation or that exchange. Okay, I can actually control my opponent from the first attack. Okay, it's 
very important. That is why I'm teaching you this way. So that you can go BAM! Right? Now, if something happens and somebody else starts trying to attack, as you're dealing with this person, you can disengage, go into the Heaven Six, start going into your clearing motions, trying to get him to back off, and then you can flow out of that and start attacking it from there. Um, for examples on how that can be done, I have flow videos out. Um, one's like an internal flow that's nice and slow, that's really easy for you to uh, learn off of. And then I've got a faster flow, which was like a tagging flow. <coughs> and it's faster, but you can see how that works too. Anyway, so once again, blocking, attacking. Okay, so that's from attack one. Attack two, which is a backhand attack. Okay, attack two. You got a block here, and um, we're just going to come in for a stab, or we could hit same as we would with the, with the other side. But since it's with our left hand, and most people haven't trained their left hand as much as their right, because most people are right-handed, you can just simply block and stab. Okay. Something else, let's talk about this. With the screwdriver, you know, once again, it doesn't have the mass, so therefore you're, it's not going to be a clubbing weapon. But this small point is going to be very effective for stabbing. Okay, keep that in mind. Also, since it's a, sm a smooth shaft, you will be able to stab and retract and stab again. Okay, there's not going to be much in the way of resistance to that. Um, knives sometimes have a resistance because it's a blade, right? So there's things that can be kind of hung up with. But a screwdriver, you won't have that. It'll just go in and out, in and out, just like a needle would. So think of it as a larger needle, okay? So once again, from the number two attack, blocking, stabbing, okay? Third attack. All right. This is the one coming to the rib cage. We're going to do a double block, double strike. Okay. This one is taking care of the weapon. The one in your left hand is taking care of the weapon. The one in the right is smacking the arm. Okay. And then it's coming across to the neck. Okay. So let's go over that again. One. I'm stepping forward with the right and smacking with both to the arm at the same time. So, all this is done in one motion. Boom. One. Two. And then you can follow up with a stab here. Three. Okay? Depending on where you stab, once again, will determine on what the effect is. Okay? So, once again, one, two, three. Okay? From the other side. One. Stepping forward with the left. Same thing striking here. Alright, so now you're going to swing this back towards the neck and stab this way. Okay? So once again, one, two, three. Okay? From the lower attack. Alright? It's going to come towards my knee or towards my leg. Alright? So, I'm here. I see that coming. Stepping forward with the right. Swinging this down. Swinging this across to the head. Okay? So it's one, so one, two. Alright? Now if I want to follow that up, since I've blocked and deflected that weapon, I can go straight to the stab here. Alright, so literally from here, one, two, three. Okay, let me slow that down for you. One, two, three. When I'm stabbing here, I'm stepping forward with the left, too. Okay? So I'm always walking forward towards my enemy, at least. Okay? The reason for me taking that step is because when I'm stabbing here, I want my body weight behind it. Okay? I don't want to be using my arm strength. I want to be using my body weight. I'm going to be using my whole body to attack. Okay? So... There we go. Alright. 
lower tack from this side. All right. So the lower tack's coming to this side. Once again, stepping forward to the left, swinging that out. Now I'm going to go ahead, since I've got it here, I'm going to go ahead and come across, striking the neck here, and once again stabbing with the right. Okay. So, once again, one, two, three. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to go over is the shot to the groin. Okay, once again, now there's some people that will say, well, you, you simply cross your weapons and block them that way. Okay, the problem with that is that I'm using both of my weapons to deflect one of theirs. Mm. Or I'm using two of my hands to deflect or block one of theirs. Eh, not so much, okay? So, the best way to defend against that I think is to simply swing backwards with the left leg using the same displacement that I was showing in the first one. Swing this down and come across here. Alright? So even if they back off from this point and I lose the ability to attack from here, okay, which is doubtful. But even if the attack ends from simply this movement here. I still have that free hit across that neck. Okay? They still realize, okay, this person's going to attack me. This, this person's going to attack back. So, first thing that you're going to do is going to drop back, swing this down, deflect it out of the way, and strike. Okay? And then after that, then you can go into the, to the stab. Notice how we're doing this. We're setting up the strike sets up the stab. All right. Always notice that. Notice how that worked. Okay. All right. So now the next one is going to be the one that's coming straight to the head. All right. So once again, this time we're just going to step backward with the right. I'm going to swing it out. Just bat it out of the way. All right. Come across with the left. Come across with the right, and do a stab here. Okay. So once again from here, batting it out of the way, stepping backwards with the right, swinging this to the neck here, to the neck here, which by the way, sets me up for the stab here, okay, so once again, I'm going to step backwards with the right, swing it out, strike with the left, strike with the right, note how when I'm striking with the right, I've already set my left up for the stab here which means that I can step back in. <laughs> okay, you see how that works? All right, so that's how you deal with the top one. The pierce to the center, or the stab to the center. Okay, somebody's trying to stab you. Once again, step backwards with the right, or step to the side with the left. You can step to the side with the left, step back with the left, right? Get out of the way, all right? Get out of the way, swing this in the way. Now, just go straight in for the step here. Okay. So, that's how you can use two for the nine basic attacks. And how to defend against them. So, I hope that you found the versatility of having two, one in each hand with this video. And, uh, be back for the next one which will be the advanced. Thanks. I appreciate your comments. I appreciate your views. I appreciate your time. Defend your homes wisely.